we're students, or you are, I'm a teacher. And so what I'd like you to do is create your own design pattern, and I'd like you to hit certain elements on your page. And one of the cool things about this is, um, since some of you are getting college credit, uh, your college credit is for your HTML, CSS, and so you're going to be coding this out. This is actually going to meet part of the requirement. Um, it allows you to demonstrate some of these different elements that are required as part of the college credit that you get. Um, so one of the things is, for example, tables. So I want you to include in your design pattern library tables. Typography is so essential and headers are so essential and paragraphs are essential. I want you to hit those as well. I want you to also think about some of the UI elements. So let's talk about like what that's going to be and let's get started on some of the HTML behind it. And then in later videos, we'll, we'll really, really start drilling down some of the choices and options that you have and how to sort of create it. Okay, so what I want you to do is in a, like a folder, and if you're one of my students, a network folder, um, preferably your own student folder, I'd like you to create a new folder for this project and call it uh, Design Patterns Project. You might want to uh, do something like I did where I hyphenate those. Um, you don't technically have to. Um, if you already have a folder for your your uh, project, you might want to drop this in there. It's up to you. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to put our design patterns project into this folder just like we would a regular website. So you're going to need to have an index page um, and possibly um, some additional pages. So my recommendation is once you, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to open this up and I recommend you use the Atom Editor for doing this. So what I'm going to do is open my Atom Editor and then create a project you basically import this project folder into it. So I'm going to copy my path here to begin with so that I don't have to dig for it. And I'm going to get Adam open. There it is. Um, oh, I also pinned it to the taskbar at the bottom. And we're going to open up Adam. And then we're going to go ahead and create a project folder. Just ignore. Um, let me go over here for just a bit. Um, open or add project folder. So it's file, add project folder, and then I'm just going to paste in here, hit enter, and find my folder. So I copied it from the, the folder, the Windows folder, the path, and then I paste it in here. And now I'm going to select this particular folder, the design patterns project folder, and click select folder. And then what that's going to do is it's going to basically track this folder on the side so I can navigate files on there. And you see it popped up there. Now I have nothing in there. So the first thing I want to do is create a new file. Now I just right click on the folder, choose new file. Or did you see what it said? It said uh, type A. And I'm just going to type index.html, hit enter. Now because I right clicked on the folder, I didn't have to give it a path. I just right clicked and did index.html. Now here's the cool thing about Adam. And I, it may have, may have been a while since we've talked about it. But um, once you save a file as, as .html, I can start typing H, T, and when I see this HTML, um, I can hit enter, and bam, I get my doc type, my HTML, my head, meta, title, and body all in one, two letters, and, enter, and an enter key, and I've got this far into my project. And then, of course, the title is Design Patterns Library. Patterns, patterns, library. Okay, and then I'm just going to copy that, make that a header. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put a title in here. Now, a couple things you want to think about is if you're going to do the design patterns library, uh, you're probably going to want to have multiple pages, in which case you're going to need a nav bar. You may want to have some sections. You might want to have a sidebar or not. Maybe you're just going to center everything. Uh, in the middle, but you're still going to need some elements for that. So I recommend you create sort of a general structure for the whole page using either divs or articles or sections um, and then create kind of the body of it that we can then style later. I think what I'm going to do is have uh, two columns. Sidebar that will have an in-page navigation of all the items. Here that's a more of a global nav on the left. 
And then on here, they have theirs where you click on here and it drops you down the page. I'm going to kind of do the opposite. But it's up to you. You can do it that way if you want. So once I have an idea as to what the sections are, I'm going to begin with just a, I think I'll do a div with class of page, um, or I'll do a section. Okay, and we're going to have, uh, I'm going to make sort of a header. And then in the header, I'll make my header one, and I'll paste design patterns library in there. Um, I could put my nav in the header. I could do it afterward. Um, I'm going to do, uh, actually, no, I was going to do the sidebar nav. So I'm going to just going to create another section. Actually, I, that was page. I was going to do a class of page on this one. And I'll just do one of the class of me. Now, this may get changed later on. Um, as, and if you have some mock-ups as to what, how you're going to design your site, how you're going to style it, you're going to want to refer to that and use it. So you may end up having to make some changes to your HTML to reflect it. But I'm going to have an article, and then um, that article will be where I put all of my samples. So I'm going to actually put a little comment there. It's always a good idea to add comments to say what we're done or what you're doing. And then I'm going to have an aside. And on the aside, I'm going to add my nav bar in there. Okay. So you notice how easy it is with Atom is you just start typing out the tags that you want. I forgot to add a nav bar, so I'm going to add a nav in between the header and the section, and it'll be a global nav, so I'm going to create, create the nav and give it a class of main, uh, no, I'll give it global nav, or main nav. Okay, and then I have my UL unordered list of links. Oh, I thought I thought maybe it would let me do it that way. A. No, not on key up. The heck. For now, I'm gonna just put index. HTML. Home. Pretty obvious, right? I'm gonna copy that. Paste. For now, I'm just gonna put some hashtag in here. Actually, I'm going to switch this around a little bit. I'm going to put typography first. Then I'm going to put UI elements. And then I'm going to do one for media. Now, since I already know what I'm doing, this tells me what my navigation links are going to be. I'm going to call this uielements.html. And this one will just be media.html. So sometimes just creating your list and coming up with the sections gives you what you're going to name the files. We haven't created those files, but we'll have to add them later. But as you can see, what we're doing is we're kind of heading, we're, we're kind of like coding this out. So what I'd like you to do is at the very least get sort of your main section. I'm going to zoom out a bit so you can sort of see all these. Actually, I'm going to collapse some of these. So collapse the article, collapse the aside, the UL, you can kind of figure that out, and even the header. So uh, you want to just come up with this general structure of the HTML for your page. Feel free if you're going to use Bootstrap to use some of the Bootstrap classes that are available. And feel free to import Bootstrap and use it because Bootstrap is going to give you some grids and some other elements. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just add those pieces in the next round and then start actually coding out what goes where um, and start working that way. I'll save that for the next video. I'm going to add one more thing to be at a good stopping point. I got this far. Um, let's just do, let's add the remaining pages. 
Um, if you think this is good, you may want to run it through the validator, make sure you have no errors in your code. I don't think there are. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is get the names of these other files. So I'm going to copy that uh, file name. I'm going to right click over here, choose new file, and I'm just going to paste that. So I right click over the folder, the project folder, hit enter, I got my file. But there's no code. But if I go back to index, I want to use this code. So I'm just going to copy everything here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to the UI elements. I'm going to paste it in. And then I'm going to copy media.html and do the same process. So see, if, you, if I close it, if I click that down, I can see index UI elements. Right click here, choose new file. I'm going to paste, hit enter. And then I'm going to copy that code again from here. Same exact code. Paste it in. I'm going to save all of these changes. So control S, control S, control S. I'm going to try to launch this. I down here have this, uh, I added this little add-on where I could actually just launch on there. I can see design patterns library, typography, UI elements, media. I can click on them and um, all the links work. And so now I have everything in place to begin filling out my design patterns library. And so from there, um, in my next video, I'll show you setting up um, some ideas and what to put in where and how to structure it.